<coughs> Excuse me. So we're going to do some bug spraying today, and we've made a, a garlic spray mix in here. And what that is, is three, clo cl three cloves of garlic, all chopped up, uh, into some cold water, a litre of cold water, and then there's a tablespoon of cayenne pepper, and also a tablespoon of washing up liquid and a tablespoon of cooking oil. It's actually olive oil that's got in there. Doesn't really matter, I don't think, but that's to help it to stick uh, to the plants. So there's a litre there. Now this is a kill sprayer or a pressure sprayer, a five litre one. So we're going to put that, which is one litre's worth, into that and dilute it down and then give the plants a good spray in with it and hopefully that'll help to deter the black fly, the green fly and all the rest of them. Okay, so we'll see how we get on. Bradley, what are you doing lad? Getting the weeds Getting them, are they naughty weeds? Yeah. Get them all out them naughty weeds. How are you doing? You've got a few in there, haven't you mate? I've got, I guess I'm... I'll give you a little bit of a lift. You're doing a cracking job there lad. Working our way through, we'll do that one next, shall we? Yeah. What are you weeding? Yeah. Are you weeding, James, as well? Yeah, we just finished. Are you spraying? Don't Some weeding going on down here. Yeah, they're the stingy ones down there. Yeah. I'll do them. Okay. Look at you, you're doing well with that bucket, aren't you? Look, there's some naughty ones here, see? Can you see the naughties? Get them naughty ones inside and out. Doing a good job there, mate. Yeah. Are you sure are you showing us what to do, James? Yes. Show Bradley what to do there. We pick out a weed like this one. And then we take over. We go and have a look back over. Yeah, and then we yeah. put it in. I know that you get snow blind to him. Dad a fun Dad a fun of weed. You're doing a good job, boys. Dad. And Lady Farmer. Dad. I'm not filming your, your, your bottom. No, no. There's a whopper. Good to be digging him out, couldn't we? It's a root. Yeah, there's some good ones. I'm trying to get them. I gave Those have all been sprayed with our garlic spray. The garlic cayenne pepper spray. Tea, uh, a tablespoon of each of garlic, cayenne pepper, um, and then you've got the washing up liquid and the the oil, the cooking oil in there as well. You just spray it around the tops. The black fly and everything tends to tends to gather there at the tops where the growing tips are. So we give it a good spraying around there, and it seems to have uh, deterred them so far. Deterred them. We're in the pro we're in the process of giving everything a, a damn good weeding while we're down there as a group, and then we'll be watering everything up when it gets a bit cooler later on. I don't like that seems to be working. That um, <clears throat> as a bird deterrent, all of those canes sticking up because uh, these are really recovering on this side, the early onward. Are you showing us how you do it? How do you do the... I'm covering up these. Alright, yeah. I'm putting okay. Like this. Gives you something to do, mate, doesn't it? How are you doing with them weeding? How are you doing with the weeding, mate? Great. Great. Good. Yeah, some of them, them raspberries are... That's the best, aren't they? Soil's very dry though. Yeah, we're going to have to water up, I think, before we go, aren't we? Maybe tie them canes on again. We'll see how they get on. I did put some of that uh, 6X in, I think, into the... But not much. 
You know, that's um, concentrated farmyard manure stuff. It's warm today, isn't it? About 26 degrees. Wrapped up in the greenhouse at the top when I first went on, it was 94. 94 degrees Fahrenheit. Yeah, we went to a wedding last night as well, didn't we? All day drinking, drinking, do. It doesn't help. <laughs> right, we'll get some planting done in a bit as well. Still got um, a couple of the beds to do on the old weed inside. But this one's been done. That pack choice seems to be doing okay, doesn't it? Open planted, uncovered. Seems to be doing all right. That, that as well as had a, a spray with the garlic spray today, just to see how that gets on. This bed's looking okay, it's all been weeded in there. As has this, and this for the onions. So, yeah, we're going to crack on. So, I'm just going to put a small pea bed in, which I'm just lining out with the cardboard there. Um, and that is going to be just on the lady farmer's side. I made sure it's on the lady farmer's side. If you look down there where the post is, probably the middle of the gate, I think they take it as. But I believe it's where the post is. That's the actual centre of the plot. So it should, should be fine because it's on that side of it. If you look at the path there, That's that side of the path. Yeah, easy. easy. It's about three or four inches onto that side. Because we want to we want to have the, the true distinction. Bye! What are we having for tea? Whatever we've got in. Right, fair enough. I'll see you all later then, babies and uh, mamas. And kids. And kids. And kids. And grandmas. Uh, yeah, so that's lined out with the cardboard, which I'm just about to wet now. So that's the next step. Give it a good soaking. composting but not before we put this in in the centre and there's the last of the beds well the, the last that I've made anyway that's not too bad is it and there's the uh, the pond netting around it up to a height of about 18, 20 inches, something like that, coming around. And that'll, that'll keep the pigeons, hopefully, from getting to the peas. The canes are in there, and that central bit there, hopefully they'll grab onto that as they climb, and they'll climb up through that centre bit, put the tendrils out, and away they'll go. Up the canes. They've only got to about three foot high, I should imagine, the peas. Not much more than that. So that should be fine. Cleveland and Wonder is the variety and there's um, well there's around about 40 in there I would th I would think so I put uh, there, was, there was one or two peas per station and there was 24 stations so there's about 40 about 40 pea plants in and uh, so yeah hopefully they'll do well they'll do alright for us that's like the baby brother of this one. The one we did last week. That's about three times the size. It's got a lot more peas in as well. It's got about 100 odd peas in there. About 120 peas in that one. So yeah. Mm. Ah, a beautiful sunny day it's been today. 
really want to get those out that giant pumpkin and uh, the courgettes and also the rest of the sweet corn really but I'll keep getting sold leave it another week leave it another couple of weeks you know so we will we'll listen to the good advice they need planting on a lot of these tomato plants because they are starting to suffer now they do they do need to get into bigger pots but unfortunately until I can get rid of this stuff I won't have the room to have them growing on it's like these ones are growing on and here um, so yeah definitely in the next two weeks these will have to go out they're going to have to go out because that's getting really big now that giant pumpkin I have to start feeding him liquid feed Getting the corn for you. Mmm, decisions, decisions. I was going to do a couple of rose beds as well today. Sort of like 18 inch square rose beds at the side here. One there and one there. But I'm thinking I might have run out of time. Mick's on, he's just over there. Mick's got his own channel as well. Um, uh, old Mac Darby's farm. I think it's called. I'll put it in the link below. He's uh, just started putting uploads on with his progress. I'm gonna water up in a second, water everything, get it all in. I have done a bit of water. Well, these are looking fine and dandy in here, aren't they? Look at the colour of that. Look at the colour of that lettuce. I might take him tonight. In fact, I will. I'm gonna take that tonight because it's getting big in here. It's all bouncing along in here. The interplanted lettuce between the um, the brassicas. The have a little catch crop. Yeah, cool. Yeah, so I'm going to cut some of that lettuce and then cover it back up. Hmm. It's all coming through lush, isn't it? Very lush. <laughs> it's great, isn't it? All the spuds are bouncing along. Sapo Mira in this one. That's in the wrong spot. That's Maris. That says Maris Piper, but the Maris Piper's there. This is Sapo Mira in this side. I'm certain the blueberries. Lots and lots of flowers on them. So hopefully we'll have lots and lots of berries off them. All being well. Uh, that's last week's bed. I put some um, beetroot in. Got some beetroot in there as well at the back. So you get your beetroot in there as well as your uh, cauliflowers, lettuce, and celeriac, and uh, broccoli, Brussels sprouts, red cabbage, different types of chard in there as well. There's our little pea bed that we've just done. Got some more beetroot there that needs going in, but I'm gonna to have to probably put it back inside there. Till next time. God, there's so much to do, isn't there? It's been beautiful again, as I say today. Fantastic. If you've been down on your plots, I hope you've had a lovely, lovely day. Simply lovely. And because uh, we have, there's the Swede. The Swede's getting getting rampant now as well. It's going to shade out the red cabbage. Should have just left that all the sweet, I think, in there. It's coming on a treat. You're keeping the uh, cabbage whites off. As I say, I will have to cover that up pretty sharpish. They've dropped off a bit now, the cabbage whites, but there were I've seen about six today. Um, this is the uncovered bed, obviously. The pack joy seems to be doing fine. More brassicas in there. I think these are the pointed and round cabbages in here. Yeah, there he is. Just been just been telling him about uh, old McDarby's. He's always watching up old McDarby, which I'll be doing shortly. Yeah, all looking super. So yeah, that's me. Uh, until next time. I'm talking like Sean Connery because I don't have my tooth in. And it's very uh, off-putting, very off-putting, lack of tooth. 
so yeah have a wonderful week we'll see you in the week probably about tuesday wednesday um so yeah keep growing keep growing with your head down and um take care everybody bye bye